So we'll just land on our cushions, land on our chairs. So we'll start as we always do with some short stretching exercises to open up our bodies, to open up our lungs and hearts. So with the left arm, go straight up into the air, just lean over to the right, opening up the left side channel, left upper body. With the right hand, you can gently extend your left arm, breathing into your lungs, breathing into your hearts. and releasing. Going to the other side, right arm goes straight up, lean over to the left, opening up the right side body, right side channels, opening up the right rib cage. With your left hand, you can extend your right arm gently and release. And with your left arm, you can put the inner part of the left arm facing up. And in your right hand, you just kind of tap the inner part of the left arm, opening up some meridians there that open up our lungs, creating more breathing room, more room for oxygen, for the practice. Do the same on the other side. So we'll move to the nine round breathing exercise, which is a short breathing exercise, short breathing purification exercise before we move into the larger practice. So with our left index finger, we're gonna close the right nostril. We're gonna breathe in white light through the left nostril, down through the left side channel, goes under the belly button, finger moves to the other side and through the right side channel. We exhale any uh, desire, any attachments, any clinging in the form of black smoke. Black smoke rises up into the air, turns to clouds of silver and gold, and those clouds of silver and gold flow out into the world, bringing blessings to each other and all sentient beings and releasing a gentle rain of golden and silver nectar from the heavens above. So we do this together three times. This time with the right index finger, we close the left nostril. We breathe in white light through the right nostril, down through the right side channel, under the belly button. Our finger moves to the other side. And through the left side channel, we exhale all our anger, all our hatred, all our aversion, all our mental lawsuits, all our resentments in the form of black smoke. Black smoke leaves the body, rises up into the air, turns to clouds of silver and gold. And those clouds of silver and gold flow out into the world, bringing blessings to each other and all sentient beings 
and releasing a gentle rain of uh, golden and silver nectar from the heavens above. So again, we do this together three times. The last round, we breathe in white light through both nostrils, down through both side channels. We meet at the central channel. The central channel, we exhale all our um, obscurations, all our misunderstandings, how to put the teachings into practice, how to, all the obstacles to connecting with our gurus. Any ignorance, any obscurations, any obstacles, we exhale in the form of black smoke. Black smoke leaves through both nostrils, rises up into the air, turns to clouds of silver and gold, and those clouds of silver and gold flow out into the world, bringing blessings to each other and all sentient beings and releasing a gentle rain of golden and silver nectar from the heavens above. So as always, you may find that you breathe in more through one nostril than the other, and that's quite normal. So this morning, to the best of your abilities, try to inhale as evenly as possible and exhale as evenly as possible. And again, we'll do this together three times. So imagine that we are at the center of a circle and around us are infinite circles expanding out as far as our minds can imagine, rows and rows of sentient beings from all six realms, from the hungry ghost realm, from the demon realm, from the hell realm, from the God realm, from the human realm, from the animal realm, circles and circles of sentient beings, each of whom we've had a connection with since beginless time, each of whom has been our friend, our parent, our child, our classmate, our coworker, and so on and so forth. So as we engage in this practice this morning, we do so with three motivations. On one level, we do so to purify all the negative karma that we've accumulated since beginning this time. On a second level, we do so to purify all the negative karma we've accumulated so we may have the best possible rebirth in the safest possible place in our next lifetime and the next lifetime after that. So in our next rebirth, we can have access to the Dharma in an easy way. We can land in a safe family and a safe territory with all the food and clothing and shelter and education that we need. But ultimately we engage in this practice to purify all our negative karma so that we may realize enlightenment and be of service to all sentient beings around us in whatever way is most appropriate to their minds. 
so that we may return the kindness to them that they've shown to us since beginningless time. And this extends also to those sentient beings that we have, um, we may be experiencing difficulties with. It extends to the hungry ghosts, the demons, the hell realms, the God realm beings, the animals and other human beings. So regardless of how they may appear in this lifetime, if we look upon this ocean of sentient beings with Buddha eyes and Buddha hearts, we've had a connection with them since beginningless time. So again, we don't take the surface appearance as reality, we take the bigger picture. And we realize that all sentient beings seek happiness in the same way we seek happiness. And even sentient beings who may behave in ways that are inappropriate in this lifetime and um, may be harmful to us in this lifetime. Yet just one lifetime ago, they were our best friends. Two lifetimes ago, they saved us from drowning in the ocean and so on and so forth. So we must, again, look upon the situation with Buddha eyes, Buddha hearts, with compassion in our hearts and focus on realizing enlightenment to help all sentient being, even those that we've experienced difficulties with. Realizing that they seek happiness in the same way we seek happiness and they seek happiness sometimes in an unskillful way, the same way we seek happiness with an unskillful way. So softening our hearts, softening our minds, and yet, um, yeah, softening our hearts and softening our minds, but still maintaining discipline and Buddha wisdom. So we'll move to the mantras and we'll recite the mantras together. The mantras are on the yellow card. And we'll do these and then we speak in the practice in the booklet itself. So we'll start with the Buddha Shakyamuni mantra in Sanskrit. Daya da o muni muni maha munaye soha. Daya da o muni muni maha munaye soha. Daya da o muni muni maha munaye soha. We'll do the multiplying mantra next. Om Namo Manju Shriye Nama Su Shriye Nama Utama Shriye Soha Om Namo Manju Shriye Nama Su Shriye Nama Utama Shriye Soha Om Namo Manju Shriye Nama Su Shriye Nama Utama Shriye Soha. We'll do the prayer, the prayer to Guru Shakyamuni in Tibetan. Lama Tompa Chom Den De De Jing Shek Bhadra Chompa Yang Dark Bar Zogbe Sangye Pel Gyawa Shakya Tupala Chag Salo Chedo Kyapsu Chi Wo Jingi Lap Tu Sol. Lama Tompa Chom Den De De Jing Shek Bhadra Chompa Yang Dark Bar Zogbe Sang Pel Gyawa Shakya Tupala Chag silo chedo kyapsu chi wo jingi lap tu so. Lama sumpa chom den de de jing shik pa dra chom pa yang dark pa zog besa. Pel gewa shakya tu pa la. Chag silo chedo kyapsu chi wo jingi lap tu so. So we'll turn to the booklet, to page two. And we'll start by taking refuge together. Cool. 
Okay, so we'll start by taking refuge um, together three times. I take refuge in the sublime precious three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus perfectly do I generate bodhicitta. I take refuge in the sublime precious three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus perfectly do I generate bodhicitta. I take refuge in sublime precious three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus perfectly do I generate bodhicitta. <coughs> we recite the four measurables. As we, as we recite the four measurables, just see these prayers leaving your mouths and tongues and going out and touching the hearts and minds of all sentient beings around us, bringing in more happiness, more joy, more peace. May all sentient beings have happiness in the cause of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering in the cause of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment for friends and hatred for enemies. We we'll recite the seven limb prayer. Um, so reverently, I prostrate my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I declare all my negative actions accumulated since beginning this time, and rejoice in the merit of all holy and ordinary beings. Please remain until the end of cyclic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for living beings. I dedicate my own merits and those of all others to the great enlightenment. So we'll do a short mandala offering. This is where we have an opportunity to request, to continue to request the teachings from the Buddhas um, to help us, help us realize enlightenment, help us realize our own Buddha wisdom, and also an opportunity to express our gratitude to all the Buddhas. We can make offerings, limitless offerings to them in whatever way is most appropriate to their minds. Um, and we also it's appropriate to your mind. So it could be a beautiful, uh, beautiful piece of music, an ocean of diamonds, uh, limitless field of flowers, you know, infinite Dharma offering, Dharma teaching offerings, whatever you like to offer to the Buddhas, which is a heartfelt expression of gratitude for their kindness, for the generosity, and for keeping these teachings alive through the lineages. So this, this ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this is a Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. Idam Guru Ratna Mandalaka Niriyata Yami. So I'll read on from here and you can just reflect upon these passages I read until we get to the portion where we start to move into the um, working with the, the visualization and purification practice with, with Vajrasattva. So the power of regret. Recollect with deep regret the specific negativities that you've created and then meditate deeply on the meaning of the following. The negative karma that we've accumulated since speaking this time is as extensive as the treasury of a great king. Although each negative action leads to countless eons of suffering, it seems that we're constantly striving to create nothing but negative actions. Even though we're trying to avoid non-virtue and practice positive acts day and night without respite, negativities and moral downfalls come to us like rainfall. We lack the ability to purify these faults so that no trace of them remains. With these negative imprints still in our minds, we could definitely die we could suddenly die and find ourselves falling to an unfortunate rebirth. What can we do? Please watch yourself with your great compassion. Guide us from such misery. Remembering impermanence and death. Many people our age or younger have died. It's a miracle that we're still alive and have this incredible opportunity to purify our negative karma. 
Death is certain, but its time is most uncertain. If we were to die right now, we would definitely be born in the lower realms. Because we couldn't practice Dharma there, we'd remain in the lower realms for countless eons. Therefore, how unbelievably fortunate we are to be able to, to, be able to purify our negative karma right now without even a second's delay by practicing Vajrasattva meditation recitation. But we're not practicing Vajrasattva purification for ourselves alone. The purpose of our lives is to release all hell beings, pretas, animals, humans, asuras, suras, and intermediate state beings from all their suffering and its causes and lead them to unsurpassed enlightenment. In order to do this, we must first reach enlightenment ourselves. Therefore, we must purify all our negative karma immediately by practicing Vajrasattva meditation and recitation. So we're still surrounded by limitless circles of sentient beings as far as our minds can imagine, from all six realms, from the hungry ghost realm, from the demon realm, from the hell realm, from the human realm, from the animal realm, from the God realm. And perhaps some of these sentient beings have started to move from one lifetime to another. So it's not a fixed uh, visualization, it's dynamic. In the same way that we've started to shed layers of negative karma already in the last 20, 25 minutes, some of the sentient beings around us have also been starting to shed layers of negative karma, and some have been passing away and moving in the bardo, heading towards a rebirth. So maybe a hungry ghost in the second row is heading towards a human rebirth right now. Perhaps an animal in the fourth row is heading towards a demon rebirth right now. So everything's changing and shifting moment by moment, and all these sentient beings, some of them are still the same, but their karma has changed, and others are shifting from one lifetime to another. And we still have Vajrasattva. Um, Vajrasattva now appears in front of us, hovering a couple of feet off the ground. We feel the radiance of his joy and beauty and love filling our space. It's, and truly feel the presence of Vajrasattva in front of you. So it's not a figment of our imagination. Truly feel his presence. He's wearing beautiful golden robes, beautiful silk robes, wearing, wearing beautiful golden crown and, and bracelets and necklace. And just feel his presence filling your homes, filling your rooms, your living rooms, your bedrooms with, with light and love and joy. And he's rejoicing the fact that we're gathered here to do this practice this morning. At any time we need help, we need support, we need guidance, we need somebody to lean on, we can lean on Vajrasattva for help. So visualize light radiating in all directions from the home of Vajrasattva's heart, requesting the Buddhas to bestow their blessings. They accept the request and send white rays of light and nectar, the essence of which is the knowledge of their body, speech, and mind. This light and nectar falls like a rain of milk and is absorbed into the home and mantra garland of Vajrasattva's heart. Filling his holy body completely, they enhance the, the, they enhance the magnificence of his appearance and increase the brilliance of the mantra until it shines with the light 100,000 moons reflecting off snowy mountains. So we'll do three rounds of purification. The first round is focusing on purifying non-virtues of body. And then we focus on non-virtues of speech. And then we focus on non-virtues of mind. So focusing on non-virtues of body, focusing on purifying non-virtues of body, these include killing, stealing, and sexual misconduct. So Vajrasattva emits a, heart, emits a light from his heart, which rises up into the air, enters the crown chakra, and starts to flow through the body. So it flows into the, the brain, purifying the whole nervous system, purifying our third eye, our pineal gland, our pituitary gland, our endocrine system. That light flows through the brain, through the head, down through the mouth, down through the throat chakra, into the shoulders, down through the arms, down through the hands, down through the fingers, down through the core of the body purifying our hearts, purifying our lungs, down along the spinal cord and vertebrae, and flowing down through the core organs of the body, the kidney, the diaphragm, the liver, the pancreas, and the 
down into our digestive system, down into the bladder, down into the reproductive system, down into our hip sockets, purifying any energy that's stuck in our hip sockets and the pelvic girdle. And that white light flows down through our legs, down through our thighs, into our knees, purifies our knees, any energy stuck in our knees, down through our shins and down through the ankles and out through the soles of our feet. And as that light flows through the body, it pushes out all non-virtues in the form of black tar. So black tar falls to the ground, turns to rivers of silver and gold. Those rivers of silver and gold flow out to the world, bringing blessings to all sentient beings around us. From the heavens above, we continue to receive that gentle rain of golden and silver nectar. So with that, we recite the mantra together out loud seven times. <clears throat> Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 ho bhagavan sarva tatta gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahom pet om vajra sattva samaya manu palaya vajra sattva deno patita dido me bhava suto kayo me bhava supo kayo me bhava Anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tittam shriyam kuru hum. Ha 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 ho, bhagavan sarva tatta gatta, vajra mame munsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahum pet. Om vajra sattva samaya manu palaya, vajra sattva deno patita. Dido me bawa, suto kayo me bawa, supo kayo me bawa, anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tittam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhagavan sarva tatta gata, vajra mame munsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahom pe. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Sittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anarakto Me Bhava Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 ho, Bhagavan, Sarva Tata Gata, Vajra Mame Munsa, Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya, Vajra Sattva Deno Patita. Dido Me Bhava, Suto Kayo Me Bhava, Supo Kayo Me Bhava, Anarakto Me Bhava, Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa. Sarva karma sutsa me tittam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sarva tata gata vajra mame munsa vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahum pe one more om vajra sattva samaya manu palaya vajra sattva deno patita dido me bhava suto kayo me bhava supo kayo me bhava 
Anarakto me bawa, sarva siddhi me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me sittam shriyam kuru hum. Ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sarva tatta gatta, vajra ma me munsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva, aho. So now for the next round, we focus on purifying non-virtues of speech. These include lying, gossip, divisive speech, and harsh speech. So Vajrasaf emits light from his heart, this time going, which enters the soles of our feet, going up into our ankles, purifying the energy that's stuck there. So we're gonna go from bottom to top this time. So the light rises up into the ankles, up into the shins, purifying any energy stuck in our knees. Rising up along our thighs, purifying the energy stuck in our thighs. And we tend to, to store difficult emotions in our thighs. So uh, purifies any energy stuck there. Rising up into the pelvis, into the pelvic girdle, purifying any energy that's stuck there. Opening up any energy stuck in our hip sockets. The light then rises up through our reproductive organs, through our bladder, through our digestive system, into the core organs of the body, to the gallbladder and the bladder and the pancreas, into the diaphragm, into the liver, up along our spine and vertebrae, up into our kidneys, up into our chest, up into our lungs, up into our hearts, opening up our rib cage, creating more breathing room up in the, up in the, in the upper body rising up into our throats and purifying our throat chakras. Flowing down through our arms, down through our hands, down through our fingers, rising up through the rest of the head, purifying our mouths, purifying any unhealthy speech patterns that are in our mouths, purifying any divisive speech, any harsh speech, any gossip, any lying. So purifying all of that rising up through the rest of the head, purifying our brain, and then bubbling up through the crown chakra and rising up into the sky. So again, this time as we receive this healing, purifying light flowing through our body, it pushes out all non-virtues of speech in the form of black tar. So feel all the black tar leaving your physical body, feel the cells opening up and releasing any negative karma they're holding on to, feel your organs, uh, muscles, bones opening up and releasing any negative karma they're holding on to. And also the aura, our auric body, opening up and releasing any negative karma that it's holding on to. So all of that falls, all the negative ticket, all the negativities fall to the ground. All non-virtues of speech fall to the ground, turn to rivers of silver and gold. Those rivers of silver and gold flow out into the world, bringing blessings to each other and all sentient beings. And again, from the heavens above, we continue to receive a gentle rain of golden and silver nectar. So with that, we recite the mantra together out loud seven times. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Denopatita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Denopatita Dido Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anarakto Me Bhava Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Sittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tattagata Vajra Mame Munsa 
Vajra Baba Mahasamaya Satva Ahum Pet Om Vajra Satva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Satva Denopatita Dido me bawa, suto kayo me bawa, supo kayo me bawa, anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayasa, sarva karma sutsa me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sarva tatta gatta, vajra ma me munsa, vajra bava maha samaya sattva ahum pet. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Tiro Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Titam Shriyam Kuru Ho Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Sittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa, Vajra Bava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya, Vajra Sattva Deno Patita, Dido Me Bawa, Suto Kayo Me Bawa, Supo Kayo Me Bawa, Anarakto Me Bawa, Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa, Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tsittam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pe Last One Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido me bawa, suto kayo me bawa, supo kayo me bawa, anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tsittam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan sarva tata gata, vajra mame munsa, Drabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pet. For the last round, we focus on purifying non-virtues of mind. These include covetousness, ill will, and wrong view. So 
So this time I'll just soften its light from his heart, which expands out, filling our rooms, our living rooms, our bedrooms, our homes with pure light and dissolving our bodies into pure light. So our experience, all the furniture in our homes, our every aspect, every physical aspect of our home dissolves into pure light, every room, every part of the apartment dissolves into pure light and our bodies physically dissolve into pure light. That light expands out, filling our neighborhoods, purifying the land around our homes, the land around our apartments, purifying all the homes and apartments around us, expanding out to all of our city, dissolving our city into pure light. The land expands out from our cities, expanding to fill our nations, our countries into pure light then dissolving our planet into pure light, then dissolving our galaxy into pure light, then dissolving all galaxies beyond our galaxy into pure light, and dissolving our universe into pure light. So our experience becomes one of pure, limitless, clear light consciousness. No beginning, no end, just a limitless, clear light mind. So feel yourselves fully expand out into your limitlessness. Feel what it's like to have a, a mind that has no beginning and no end, that has existed forever and will exist forever. So transcending this limited version of ourselves, this sense of ourselves that had limitations, that had a beginning and end, perhaps that our skin or just at the edge of our aura on top of our skin and didn't exist beyond that. Any sense of incompleteness, any sense of limitations and any sense of inabilities um, all of that's completely vaporized and we exist in our pure Buddha nature. And this pure Buddha nature is not something new. It's not something that just happened a few seconds ago. This is how our minds are 24-7, 365 days a year. Every lifetime, every moment, we exist in our Buddha nature. And it's available to us. Unfortunately, sometimes we forget about that. It gets covered over with a couple layers of dust, a couple layers of forgetfulness. It gets covered over with a couple layers of misidentifying and mislabeling ourselves. We buy into labels and identities that are not really, that are incomplete, that are just mistaken or confused. But when you scratch off those layers and you clean things up a bit, here we are in our Buddha nature, in our bright, shiny Buddha nature, a bit available or able to practice limitless compassion, limitless kindness, limitless generosity, limitless wisdom, limitless skillfulness throughout all realms of space and time. So now see yourselves multiplying into multiple, multiple Buddha versions of yourselves and those multiple Buddha versions of yourselves go out into the world, into the galaxy, into the universe, available at a moment's notice to support and assist sentient beings in whatever way is appropriate to their minds, ready at a moment's notice. And as we exist in our multiple Buddha versions of ourselves throughout the whole universe, as we exist in our shining light version of ourselves, we recite the mantra together out loud seven times. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido me bawa, suto kayo me bawa, supo kayo me bawa, anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tsitam shriyam kuruhum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan sarva tatta gattam, vajra mame munsa, Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dido Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anarakto Me Bhava Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Sittam Shriyam Kuru Hum 
ha 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 ho bhagavan sarvatata gata vajrama me munsa vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahum pet om vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva denopatita Dira me bawa, suto kayo me bawa, supo kayo me bawa, anarakto me bawa, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tsitam shriyam kuru hum. Aho bhagawan, sarva tata gata, vajra ma me munsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahom pet. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dira Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakto Me Bawa Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tsitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Unsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dira Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anarakta Me Bhava Sarva Siri Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tita Ho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dira Me Bhava Suto Kaya Me Bhava Togo Bhava Me Bhava Tomorato Me Bhava Tomorato Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Sutsa Me Tittam Shriyam Kuru Hom Aho Bhagawan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Munsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pet Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sattva Deno Patita Dira Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anarakto me bhava, sarva siri me prayatsa, sarva karma sutsa me tsittam shriyam kuru ho. Ha 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 ho, bhagawan sarva tata gata, vajra mame munsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva ahon pet. Generating faith in having been purified. From the crown of our heads, Guru Vajrasattva says, sons and daughters of the race, your negativities, obscurations, and broken and damaged vows and pledges have been completely purified. So generate strong faith that these have all been purified, just as Guru Vajrasattva has said. And take a moment to rejoice in the amazing blessing of having Vajrasattva here this morning to help us, to guide us, to lighten our hearts, to lighten our minds, and to point us towards enlightenment.
So we'll move on to the power of restraint on the middle of page five. And um, so we'll do this together. And the power of restraint is where we make a commitment to refrain from engaging in negativities to the best of our abilities. Again, if, for example, we tend to lose our patience really quickly, this is where we make a commitment to practice five extra minutes of patience with a particular situation or a particular person. And by, it's like going to the gym, you slowly do low reps and you work your way up to higher reps and higher weights. So again, it's unlikely that we can jump directly to limitless patience like a Buddha would have, but maybe we can practice five extra minutes of patience and 10 extra minutes of patience and 10 extra minutes of kindness and 15 minutes, 15 minutes of extra kindness and so on and so forth. And doing that, we slowly strengthen ourselves and we build our our spiritual muscles, and then we can get to enlightenment and have all the skills to be able to practice all those skills limitlessly because we've gently and um, wisely built up our strength. So we start, we, so we recite this together. Before Guru Vajrasattva, I vow never again to commit those negative actions from which I can easily abstain and not to commit for a day, an hour, at least a few seconds, those negative actions from which I find it difficult to abstain. So Vajrasattva is extremely pleased with our pledges. So this is where we invite Vajrasattva into our hearts. If you're not comfortable with that, you can invite Vajrasattva to sit next to you. So he's available sitting next to you as well. Um, anytime you need help, anytime you need help and guidance. So, um, so Guru Vajrasattva is extremely pleased with our pledges. He dissolves into light, rises up into the air, enters through the crown chakra and settles in at our hearts. Our body, speech, and mind become inseparably one with Guru Vajrasattva's holy body, speech, and mind. And so again, whenever we need help, we need assistance, we need guidance, we can turn to Vajrasattva for, for help at a moment's notice. So after this practice this morning, you go back into the world, into the days and weeks and months and years and lifetimes ahead. Don't forget that you have Vajrasattva available as a resource. You know, if you get paralyzed in a difficult situation, emotionally difficult, physically difficult, whatever it is, difficult situation at home, at work, don't forget to ask Vajrasattva for help. And then work with Vajrasattva to work through that situation and give yourself the space to work through that situation with all the wisdom of Vajrasattva and all the guidance of Vajrasattva. So with that, we move on to the meditation on emptiness. So in emptiness, there is no I, creative or negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. There is no negative karma created. So place your minds in emptiness for a while in this way. See all phenomena as empty inherent existence. They do not exist from their own side. So as always, the understanding in Tibetan Buddhism is that everything is dependent to rising. Everything arises out of cause and effect. There is nothing that arises in our lives that doesn't have a cause and effect. They may be experiences that we are, we, we don't want to have, we want to push away, and yet we created the causes and effects to have them. So there's a reason for them appearing in our lives. So it's good karma, negative karma, neutral karma. Everything is dependent to rising. And because of that, we can engage in practices like these. We can engage in practices like prostrations to the 35 Buddhas to purify negative karmas to weaken the negative karma that arises in our lives and ultimately purify it so it no longer arises in our lives. So we may be abide, so that we may abide in peace and quiet and focus and concentrate on realizing enlightenment. So as Pabanka Rinpoche says, um, liberation truly is in the palm of our hands. It takes some effort, it takes determination, it takes time, but we can purify all the negative karma that arises in our lives and we can create the conditions to abide in limitless peace and limitless wisdom to abide in our pure Buddha nature. So with that knowledge, with that wisdom, with that confidence, we um, dedicate the merits. 
So we move on to the dedications at the top of page six. May the precious bodhicitta, the source of all happiness and success, and success for myself and all other sentient beings be generated within my own mind and the minds of all sentient beings without even a second's delay. And may that which has been generated only be increased. Just as the brave Manjushri and Samantabhadra realize things as they are, I dedicate all these virtues in the best way that I may follow after them. Whatever dedication the three-time victorious one's gone to bliss have admired his best in the same way, I also perfectly dedicate all these roots of virtue so that I may perform good works. We recite the long life prayer for his holiness. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. A powerful Chinrezig Tenzin Gyatso. Please remain until samsara ends. We recite the prayer for Lama Zopa. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as a bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplished the of some prayers, honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. So we extend these prayers. We extend the, the blessings of this purification practice this morning to his holiness. So he may aid his holiness in whatever way is appropriate for him. We extend them to Lama Zopa, so they may aid Lama Zopa in whatever way is appropriate for him. We extend to all sentient beings whose lives have been impacted by COVID. We extend to all sentient beings who are looking for a purification practice or who benefit from a purification practice and aren't aware that one exists. So may a, a purification practice that is appropriate in their culture appear in their lives. And we extend this bless, the blessings of the practice to all other sentient beings, whatever way is most appropriate to their minds. To help relieve suffering, confusion, ignorance that may be arising in their lives. Claudio, I'd mm -hmm. like to include in the dedication the animals that are, it's hunting season now, the animals who are uh, losing their lives, the elk in particular at this time. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, so next week we'll do, you know, we're back for Vajrasapa next week. And next week we're gonna do the long version of Vajrasapa that we've decided to do once a month. So it'll be maybe an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes with the longer recitation of the mantras. Um, um, and so just a heads up for everybody, that's what we'll do next week. Uh, Christine, the, the breathing that we were doing is called a nine round breathing exercise at the beginning of the practice this morning. Um, you can find it on YouTube. There's different people doing it, even like His Holiness and other Dharma teachers. And they, they're different people do it a little bit differently, but it's called the nine round breathing exercise. So if you go on YouTube and put that in, you'll, you'll find it. Um, but yeah, next week we can do just before the full moon, we can do the larger practice. So yeah. Um, so uh, put on your training shoes and we'll go for a nice long run together next week. <laughs> so, and have an awesome week and be well and stay out of trouble. <laughs>